Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. Well, it finally happened. Screwball has finally responded to me. This time, he uses someone else's OC to take his main OC's place, and also, what pink bird? Stella? Well I like her, because she is my favorite bird from Angry Birds along with Ice Bird from Angry Birds Space. Anyways, let's just get this bullcrap over with. Russell did not want to come to do this response, so I will do it instead. Well, I'm back to making a response on Screwball. It's been a while since I did my last response on him, but also because he made a grounded video on him for no reason, but since he responded to Phoenix Knight like a total Foxy fan brat he is. How is he even a fan brat? He is just a friend of Foxy. Well Screwball, what do you have to say for yourself now? The person that you mentioned is not involved with the Foxy drama since she is staying out of it. Then I will make respawny on him now. Respawny. That was a spelling mistake, okay? Understand that. Let's get this over with. I will treat this as a response, even though it is more like a commentary. And I gotta defend one of my friends from a crook. Why? Just. Why? Why does this video exist? That is because you need to learn your lesson. For what? Because, Russell told me that Phoenix Knight isn't a good guy to be around. Look, he just taken a look at Iris's video about the whole Foxy situation and the dark truth about her, and I'm still saying that I don't take sides from both since both sides are toxic and are not any better. Betraying you and Foxy after he learned the dark truth about her? You're right, because he had a good reason on why he betrayed you and Foxy for a good reason. Well that's wrong, because betraying friends for a random reason is not a good reason. Being betrayed by a friend is harsh, I get it, but you need to understand that Foxy is not a very good person in this situation with all the backlash she is getting from the hate base, but like I said before, her hate base isn't any better. Since Iris has made food- Food! That was a spelling mistake, okay. Understand that. Points on Foxy and her drama. Because it's considered cyberbullying. And it's not like I am harassing anyone, just accepted the harsh truth. You're a hypocrite though, and I find the grounded video on you absolutely hilarious. Well, I found it very unfunny. Well, for me, I don't know what to say on that video. And also, how is he a hypocrite? Cause he kept on betraying his friends and fanbase non-stop. That isn't a very good reason about why he's a hypocrite. In fact, that reason was so invalid that it makes me torture myself playing Sonic 06. Prove it. So why is she doing this? Let's just get to it. Hey, Screwball, can I go to- Actually, that one is the real you. Wrong. It's actually his faker that made of him, and I can't believe he doesn't have the Joey voice in that stupid grounded video of yours, since he uses it for his OC. I also use the Joey voice for my OC as well. And nobody even cares. I don't give a shit! To a special place to eat for dinner? Well, where do you want to go to? I don't even know, man. Let's go somewhere special. Oh, no. Yes. Nah. Yes. No. All right. Works for me. Where you are here, Phoenix? Shut up. Shut, shut up, Patrick. Shut the. F you need to shut up. This is right by my house. Well, yeah, duh. We are near. Darien Illinois users be like Foxy's fan brats trying to act all innocent be like Well that did not even make any sense and the comeback was horrible Nobody cares! Nobody! And that was like a 5 hour aeroplane ride Oh hey Russell, I wasn't expecting you here at Darien in fact, your stupid behavior makes you go to the Darien Gap and get tackled by Ganagsters in the cartel well, yeah, duh. We are near your city in Illinois. If you add in those fucking creepy druggy video clips again, I will fucking thread on your phoenix ness. <laughs> and it was like a five hour aeroplane ride. Since when were you in. No. No. Yes. Because I am with one of my least favorite people ever, okay? And that is Phoenix Knight. He is one of the worst people on the planet because he defends actual criminals and allows them to make a lie at innocent users like Foxy. That isn't true. Actually, well, it is true, so deal with it. No, that was a bunch of baloney. The people who hated Foxy are not criminals, although her hate base is not any better because of Radke. Also, 
there are some people who made veiled points on her in the drama. Like people who made valid points on Foxy or her local Miles Morales fan, Screwball, Lex, and others. And Foxy is not innocent in this situation. That's freaking dumb and wrong of you to say that. Like I said before, Foxy is not a very good person in this situation because of the backlash she got. So just bite the bullet and accept the truth already. Including you and the Panther lover. Wrong, especially for Russell and or local Miles Morales fan. Yeah, like I would ever believe that BS, because Screwball and the Panther lover just doesn't want to accept the truth about a user they like. Oh, you are with him. Yes, of course. I knew that he needed someone to watch over him, even though he is like over half a decade older than I am. But really, he needs someone, even if it is his sworn enemy. No. That Did you really have to skip that part? Because that was so pathetic and unnecessary, and he doesn't need someone to watch him, like you. You need- Bruh. You're doing this on purpose! Stop right there. Are you jumping in, Confluence? You know you can be doing that. Let's just skip this part. Are you starting a gossip on me? You better not be doing what I think you are doing, screwed up, Ball. Oh, you better not do a dumb thing here, Phoenix Ness. Well, good luck. Can't wait to see how that goes when you are with a toxic person non-stop. Like Mr. Raidkey or Darren Pipster. Or like yourself. Actually, you, Darren Pipster, Mr. Radkey, and the other criminals are the ones that are toxic. And Screwball aka, Russell ain't even a criminal. Yeah but he's still a fan brat of Foxy the Fox 110, aka, Jenna. Because you guys always deny the truth about someone, even if the proof or evidence is real. Well it is true that Foxy is not a criminal. However, even though you say and claim she is a criminal, that evidence was confirmed be false. Actually, there are some evidence and proof against her that she is not a good person, but some other proof against her are just filler and full of crap, since her hate base likes to treat her like she while her fanbase are just plain toxic and likes to harass people who had very good points on Jenna. And also because Radke likes to mention Foxy the Fox 110 a lot of times like he is obsessed with her, but she is still not any better. Just like how you, Frankie Kun, and Night Panther have a big hate boner over her. I don't have a hate boner for Foxy the Fox 110, because I'm not part of her hate base, I only want people to be aware of her actions. But anyways, I will be patient while you two order. Well, where did Blyma and Junior go? I didn't see them in a bit. Nobody asked. Somebody asked, and that was me, you dick. I don't give a shit! Nobody e Oh my god, who the hell cares? Take the next person in line. Oh, I Come think they are calling us. Yeah, I can tell that you idiots. Shut up then, Phoenix Knight. Oh my goodness, you are quite annoying. All right, we can talk again. Hello sir, welcome back, what would you like to order? Don't even think about misbehaving because I have the strong f- SHUT UP! MAKE ME ASSHOLE! FAIL Alright sir, continue with your order. All good, I would want a beef and sausage bowl! Oh hell yes! Nah. At least Screwball said the truth. Phoenix Knight loves sausages. Then where's the proof? With a light brewed coffee. Nope. Action. You're doing this on purpose! Alright, anything else? Did you got anything else in mind, you piece of shit? I said- Shut up! Tom, shut up! That's enough. Quiet down now. Not until Screwball quiets down first and admits that Foxy is not innocent. <laughs> That wasn't very nice. Phoenix Ness, do you think I even care? No, well, deal with it. You even say Todd Foxy don't deserve support. And that's all your fault. You betrayed us for nothing. You are Well, Russell, I am just about having it then. That's it. Take this. What? Not gonna lie, that is something you most likely will do when you grow up, man. Yeah, no, he will not because he is not that type of person. Actually, he's gonna do that one day, and then he will go to prison in the Darien, Illinois Police Department. Look, I know him very well. He hasn't done any crimes in this point of year. When he grows up, he would not be a criminal if he ever does a crime in his state, while I'm in the USA. To be honest, 
That is how your foster mom acts on a regular basis non-stop cause you are a menace to society. Bruh, he clearly stated that it's not his mom, nor his foster mom. And that video is a parody, so yeah, not shit you idiotic crocker. I don't care! You're just harassing him for hating Foxy for a good reason, and Foxy is the real menace here. Wrong! Yeah, cope and see you jerk! <laughs> since he ain't gonna say anything. This is the end of the commentary video. And see you when season 6 starts. Bye-bye. No. Well, the outro here can be quieted for a few days. Hey, outro. I would advise you to not get in my face right now.